Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about my must-have beauty products of 2022. These are the products that really wowed me this year. I really tried to pick as many products that I genuinely tried for the first time this year. However, you guys know, I'm kind of cutting back on the overconsumption. Once I find something that I really love, I tend to gravitate towards it, repurchase it, and I'm just trying to become like more of a minimalist in my life. The clutter, the too much product sitting in my closet that I'm not using just like bothers me. And I really don't align morally and ethically with the overconsumption of buying more, trying more. So a lot of these products I did try in 2022 because let's be real, I am a beauty influencer. I receive a lot of products. This year I did not try an excessive amount of things, whereas looking on past years, it was excessive and it was too much. And I'm really happy with where I'm at in my beauty collection. This year was a really difficult year for me personally. Looking back, I've been through a lot. I'm still going through it. I've been battling a lot with anxiety and I'm just proud that I'm here, sitting here, having this conversation, filming this video because um, there were more, more days than not that I woke up and just like really didn't wanna get out of bed and really didn't wanna do anything of much. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be talking you through the products that I loved and I'm gonna be applying them on my face. So this is kind of like a best of the best tutorial application video. If this is something that you like, let me know down below in the comments because this is very different than best of the best videos I've done in the past. Normally I just talk you through the products with a beautiful full face of makeup on, but today you see me raw and we go from the beginning to the end talking about all of my favorites. If you are new here, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop into the best of the best 2022 beauty products. Shout out to this foundation brush. This is the 820F. And I have to say, this year I didn't really wear a lot of foundation. I know I started off the year strong with foundation and as the year came to a close, I kind of just skipped foundation altogether and was just doing concealer and other cream products to hide any discoloration. But this was definitely my wow favorite foundation of 2022. This is the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm in the shade FN for neutral and I'm just gonna apply it straight to here. And I've said in a couple videos like this this is the type of foundation that you can use this every single day. And I don't know if you experience this, but if I use the same foundation every day, like after a while, I will notice that something's wrong with it. It'll get patchy, it'll look cakey, it just won't lay on the face as a nice anymore. Like I kind of feel like my skin gets used to it and then it like doesn't sit as well anymore. Let me know if you experience something similar like that. But this is the only foundation where I use this consecutively for like two weeks. When Mike and I went away to grease every day it just got like better and better and better like i just really love it it definitely leaves a natural beautiful skin finish you can even apply this over top of powder that was really the selling point for me i went to a charlotte tilbury event this year it was so much fun and i went with a full face of makeup and this makeup artist that i sat with talitha i love her so much she threw this foundation over top of my fully powdered face looked so juicy and delicious and it didn't move anything. The concealer that wowed me the most this year, and I tried quite a few concealers, is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This is beautiful for every day. Every day when I go to work, I literally use this as a concealer, as a foundation, as like a spot treatment. It's just so comfortable and a little goes a very long way. I bought this in, I want to say May or June of this year, and I still have quite a lot of product left. This is the best drugstore product I have ever used in my entire life. I recommend it to everyone. I'm in the shade vanilla. However, I'm not going to use this today just because I want to do like a full glam. Like I want to be glam today. So I'm not going to use this. I'm just not, but it's a beautiful, my favorite concealer of 2022 by far. Today, I'm gonna use my second favorite, which is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. I bought a trial size one, and this is in the shade Cotton. I'm gonna use it with another fair brush that I fell in love with this year, and I'm just gonna apply this to the center of my face like such. A20FF. This is so freaking good. You guys know I really love the Sephora 57 concealer brush. However, I've used that for quite a few years now and I wanted to try and just mention as many 2020 products. 2020. Oh my god. God forbid. I always like mess up the year that I'm in because 
you know, I just, my brain's not here. My brain is in so many different places. So yeah, I wanted to just mention as many products that I tried, truly tried for the first time in 2022 as I possibly could. Granted, you know, this was really a year of just finding what was good for me and sticking with it. I have mentioned this quite a few times, but I'm trying to steer away from the overconsumption. I don't want to overconsume. It's really bad for the environment. It's bad for the earth. And I just feel like it's bad for us mentally. Like, why can't we just find what's good for us, stick with it? And I mean, if there's something new and innovative in the market, like I'm totally down to try it. But if I have a concealer that's working beautifully for me and there's a new concealer that comes out and it just seems like every other freaking concealer, then I'm just not, I'm not as like interested in buying new makeup as I used to be. This year I realized that clutter and having too much of things and having too much of things that I don't use just like gives me anxiety and I just don't enjoy it. So this was really the year year of finding what I loved or sticking to what I loved and just like not spending money on unnecessary things. I know that's kind of contradictory, I guess, and kind of contradictory to all of the videos. Well, not all the videos, but most of the videos that I have here on my channel because prior to this year, I used to do a lot of reviews and I still do reviews, but you guys will notice if you go back in videos past from this year, I use a lot of the same things because I just love it so much. And just like, look at that. Look at that. It's such a pretty concealer. I'm not gonna use a sponge today because in recent months, I've just been using a lot of brushes. I just feel like I'm a makeup artist. I like brushes. I feel like I'm being creative and it's just more fun to me. But I will say that the Araceli sponges were my favorite sponge in 2022. I love it more than a beauty blender. They're expensive, but not as expensive as a beauty blender. So I have this guy right here that is brand new, ready to go. However, like I said, I'm just not gonna use him today. This year I fell in love with the brand Merit. You guys know it's a clean beauty brand. I am an affiliate with Merit. So if you are ever interested in buying something from Merit, please use my link down below. I would really appreciate it. I don't make any money off of you. I just make a commission from the company when I sell something, but I love this terracotta blush and I don't use this as a blush. I kind of use this more so as a bronzer. So I'm gonna apply it with my Yensa brush. And the Yensa bronzer was also a staple this year. However, I had to get rid of her because she was so old and she was starting to look old to the point where I was looking at it and I was like, mm, do I feel comfortable? putting this on my face? No, I actually don't. So I'm picking this up with my all-time favorite brush. This brush is going nowhere. I highly doubt I will ever find a better cream bronzer bl brush blush. I always do this, it's very hard to say. A better cream bronzer brush than this one. So I'm just gonna carve the face out. And this year I kind of did a lot of this. Like anything that I put on my face, I kind of put in the crease. So I'm just sculpting the face and kind of like brontoring with this, which this is something that I do every single day. I just like whisk this across my face, make my forehead look a little smaller, make my cheeks look a little chiseled. This is just so creamy. I received this in February. I've used this almost every single day and I still have a bit left. So it is pricey, but it will last you a long time. The formula is so beautiful. I just, I haven't tried a single thing from Merit that I don't enjoy. And just like, look at the skin. Oh, it's so delicious, so juicy. My lips are feeling a little dry and I wanna kind of plump them up before I apply my lip for the day. And this is just something that I use to hydrate my lips, to prep my lips. It's something that I used as the lip look of the day. This was a discovery in 2022 that I'm so happy I found. Glow Recipe Lip Pop in Watermelon. It's beautiful, it's hydrating, it exfoliates. It has little like beads of exfoliation in it. It gives your lips the lightest shade of pink. It's so beautiful. Like, look, it looks like my lips are blushing. You know, it's just so beautiful. I love this. Definitely one of my favorite lip products from 2022. I have a lot of favorite lip products from 2022. We're going to get there, but I definitely wanted to just hydrate my lips first. Cream blush. Y'all know my Merit Beverly Hills guys. This blush is a blush to really write home about. It's beautiful. I love it. I am like the biggest fan of cream blush. It's just, it makes your skin look so juicy. I'm going to use this brush until it falls apart. This is discontinued, but it's from Crown and I'm so sorry, but I have to use it. Who's texting me? My mom. Hi mom. 
Anyway, I'm gonna just apply this to the cheeks, but this is so beautiful and I love that it's clean beauty and I definitely want to venture into more clean beauty finds this year. I've been eating a lot of foods that have less ingredients, simpler ingredients. So I definitely wanna carry that into 2022 and kind of make it a mission to just put healthier things in and on my body. So I wanna learn more about makeup ingredients. I want to see like what clean beauty is actually clean because the reality is is that there's a lot of marketing tactics and although something says it's clean it's not necessarily clean so just how freaking pretty is this cheek it's so pretty y'all know this was I, I really fell in love with two brow products this year the first one being Gucci the Gucci brow pencil there is no other brow pencil on the market quite like this. It has a powdery finish. I can fill in my brows in literally like two minutes or less. Oh, it's just so good. And it just looks so natural. And it's really easy to control. Did I discover this in 2022 though? I don't know. It was either this year or like the tail end of last year that I bought this. But it's really, oh my God, it's so freaking good. Honestly, if I had to pick between the Gucci Brow Pencil and the Merit 1980 Brow Pomade, like I would definitely choose this one because this is just like the perfect kind of brow gel. I've talked about it so many times. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about it, but it has properties in it that help your brows grow. So it helps nourish them while it keeps them up and perky and filled in and just happy. It comes off super easily. I never have to tug on my brows at the end of the day to get the brow product out of my brows. It's just so beautiful. And a lot of the time I kind of just used the brow gel and didn't fill them in with a pencil. So these are the brows, bold and delicious. I didn't try a new powder that wowed me this year. I tried the Charlotte Tilbury Flaw, blah, blah, blah. I tried the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and it just like didn't make, it didn't take my breath away. Like everybody says it takes their breath away. So I'm just gonna use my boring ass Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder because it's still my favorite. It's just still my favorite and I didn't grab it. So I have to grab it. This concealer is just so freaking nice guys. Like it really didn't move that much into my fine lines but I am just gonna pat it out because it did move like the ittiest bit but I have fine lines, so like I can't even be mad at it. Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I wanna find a new powder in 2022, 2023. You know what I'm saying. I'm just like a little bit bored of this one, but like it's so good. Like I can't even be mad at it. And I'm using it with a puff because that's honestly my favorite way to use it. And can you see the difference between this beautifully brightened powdered side and then this side that I didn't powder at all. It's just so good. I can't hate on it. It's not, it's not a new powder. You know, I've been using this for years and years and years. I wanna say ever since I started my YouTube channel. So this is not a new find in 2022. I do apologize, but like this is just a testament to what I was saying. Like when you find something that's good, why, why look elsewhere? You know I said I'm bored and you could look elsewhere because you're bored but this is always a powder that I will definitely come back to. It's so beautiful, so creamy. Doesn't leave my skin looking cakey or powdery. It's just, it's so good. Mm, look at that base, I love it. It's like natural, but like done. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. I love a lot of eyeshadow that's discontinued, but I'm not, I'm not gonna dare come on here and give you guys the best of the best eyeshadow that you can't get your hands on. So I didn't have to think hard because I really didn't try that many eyeshadow palettes this year because the reality is, is that eyeshadow really doesn't go that bad. I love so many of what I already have that I haven't felt it in my heart to really go out and find or try something new. However, for my wedding reception this year, I wanted a new eyeshadow palette and I did buy this. So glad that I did because it's so freaking beautiful. This is the New Nude by Huda Beauty. This came out, I wanna say in 2021. However, this is an eyeshadow palette that I tried for the first time myself this year. And it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. You have everyday shades, these browns, you have sparkly shades for a hot night out, date night, wedding. It's just, it's really nice and it's really versatile. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my makeup really quickly with this. I don't wanna do anything like super crazy, but I definitely want to give myself a little bit of 
a look. I'm taking the shade Teddy on this Morphe M575 brush and I'm kind of just going to sculpt the outer corner and crease with this. This is my favorite 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 shade in the palette. I don't know what it is. It's just it kind of gives my eye that like blushing effect which I think is so cute and so sexy and it looks like it's gonna rain so I apologize that the lighting has probably changed quite a few times in this video. It also wasn't supposed to rain today and if I just would stop being a cheap ass and buy a ring light it really wouldn't affect my videos but here we are and you sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. And I'm still using that Teddy shade and I really haven't dipped in too many times with it, but I kind of just want to carve out the crease and define the lid with it. But like, how pretty is that color? How pretty is that color? I'm gonna go in with a different blending brush, Raw, which is a little bit darker of a brown. I'm gonna tilt my head back and I'm gonna keep this to the crease. I don't really like this brush though. This is the Sephora 19 brush, and I like a lot of Sephora brushes. I don't love this brush, though. And I'm kind of just going to keep it, like, right here. Can you see how that just added, like, a bit of definition to this eye? Farrah 836E. It's so hard to see in here. Oh, my God. And I'm just going to soften the edges with this. What glitter shall we use? I'm trying to see, like, which one is speaking to me. I feel like Crave is kind of speaking to me. Tilt my head back and oh my God, it's so pretty. And it's kind of like duochrome, like it's super pretty. It's a champagne, but there's kind of like little flecks of mint green in there. I can't even tell you, like it's just such a cool eyeshadow palette. I want a little bit of a darker corner. So I'm gonna hop back in Love Bite, which is a dark purple. And I'm gonna throw that in the corner, I think. I don't know if this was the right decision, but I just want like a bit of a smoke. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of just darkening this portion of my face of my face, of my eye. This was the only thing that I don't love about this palette. I wish there was like a deep dark brown, but you know what, what are you gonna do? Instead, I'll just mix it up and be different and use a deep dark purple. Blending brush one more time. Favorite highlight of 2022, I tried it this year. I just kind of like a more natural highlight like this. Like I kind of just let my skin do the talking. But this year I tried this Multi Glow Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury and I bought the shade Romance Light. I think it comes in two different options. I received this and I think you can buy this online too. It's a Charlotte Tilbury Travel brush set. I love this brush set. It has four different brushes in it. I really like the blending brush. It's beautiful, but honestly, this is my favorite brush it's like this little dome guy white shade right here and I'm gonna stamp that in the inner corner look at that oh my god she's awake awaken the eye of it you know look a little bit more lively let's go into the champagne shade and I'm gonna put that underneath the brow bone because I feel like that just goes really beautifully with the glitter shadow oh, the glitter shadow that we put on and I'm gonna do a little bit underneath my brows because I feel like sometimes there's a shadow right here and it bothers me. So a bit right there. Mm, I love it. And a bit right here. Champagne shade again, and I'm gonna put it on my Cupid's bow. So pretty. And a little bit on my chin. Same, I honestly just use these two shades the most. The other two I use sometimes, but more so as like eyeshadows. But like, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. And like, you can see the difference between this kind of a shine and then this shine. Like, this is so beautiful, but this is just like a little bit more of a pow. Honestly, I'm just gonna use my Tweezerman eyelash curler. I've been using this for years. I really haven't found a need to buy a new one. Shiseido eyelash curler has really intrigued me and I'm interested in trying it myself be just because I've seen so many TikTok videos from people who love it so much. But like I said, I'm trying to not overconsume, and I don't need another eyelash curler because this one is perfectly 
fine. So I'm gonna curl my lashes, my favorite mascara, Lancome Lash Adult. So I'm just gonna apply this. It's just, I can't find a better mascara than this one. It gives that natural wispy kind of lash look. It's not too heavy. It's just so like romantic and natural. And that's just like the kind of vibe. I like in a lash. I mean, who knows? Maybe my taste will change at some point and I'll find a different mascara to accommodate that taste change. But like, look at this. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom. Just look at that eye. Look at that eye. For powder blush, I did try this one. This is the She Seductive by Patrick Ta and holy hell. This is a Farrah brush as well from that same line 860F. And I'm just, I'll show you the difference. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? It's just like, oh my God. And I kind of like to put it a little bit like under the concealer. So gorgeous. And it goes beautifully with this eyeshadow palette too. I'm honestly just like, and I put a little bit of blush everywhere because I'm just a blush addict lips and i'm pretty sure i used every single one of these for the first time except for my chelsea girls lip gloss you guys know i absolutely love this lip gloss i've used this for years and years and years this is like my third tube of this one it's just like the perfect peachy pink lip it has that like gel like consistency so it doesn't move into the fine lines of your lips really pigmented lip collagen baths by charlotte tilbury at first i only exclusively used this pinky one shade refresh rose not pinky one this peachy one, excuse me. This was the only one that I used for the first half of the year. And then when Mike and I went to Greece, I brought this one by accident because I thought that Pillow Talk was the refresh rose when in fact it wasn't. I ended up loving it. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful shade. These two are amazing. I tried, oh wait, did I try these in 2021? I think I bought them in a 2021 um, gift set for Christmas last year, but I didn't use them until this year, I think. I don't know, but relatively relatively speaking, I use these the most in 2022. And then I have two more lip glosses. I know like it's annoying, but this is just a category that I can't narrow down because I live for lips. YouTube in the shade champagne. You guys have seen this so many times on my channel. It is blinding. It is shimmery. It is delicious. This doesn't do the best job of like plumping the lips in terms of filling in the fine lines of the lips and really giving them that juicy look. However, the shimmer in this just automatically makes your lips look huge because of the way that it catches the light. Honestly, this was probably my favorite lip gloss of 2022, if I had to be honest, just because this is a lip gloss I can put on top of a full on lip. And when I say full on lip, you guys who know me know a lipstick, a lip liner, and then I would throw this on top. Or this is just a beautiful lip gloss that you can wear on its own. This is Tarte Sugar Rush in the shade Dragon Fruit. You guys have seen this so many times. It's a beautiful, natural looking lip and I am dwindling. Like I am on the ass end of this. And like, honestly, oh, it's like separating at the bottom. Mm, that's interesting. I used a lot of lipsticks in 2022. If you're new here, there's one thing that you should know about me and it is that I am a lipstick, lip liner, lip product addict. I do a lip combo. I upload a lip combo every Monday. It's a lip combo that I genuinely wear that week. I have a lot of lipsticks. I bought it in 2021. I mentioned it in a haul towards the end of the year, but I said like, I'm not gonna open this until I use up a lipstick or two. I went through quite a few lipsticks this year. And so I was like, you know what, good job sister, pick a lippy, open it, because I'm trying to be more mindful of expiration dates, you know, not wearing a lipstick for three, four, five, six years because guilty as charged, guilty as charged. This is MAC in the shade Daddy's Girl. It is a beautiful light pink shade. I'm gonna put this on today, but I definitely wanna line my lips before I put lipstick on. That's not a rule that I follow. It's just the mood that I'm in today. There were two lip liners that I used the most this year, one being MAC Strip Down. I don't know where it is. I can't find it. It's probably in one of my handbags or maybe I left it at work. It has like like a peachy brown undertone to it. So I don't have that today, but that's okay because I genuinely use this so much in 2022. And while I don't love the formula of Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheap Lip Liners, there's no other color on the market like this iconic nude. It is just show stopping. It is stunning. It's like one of those magical lip liners and I'll bring you guys in a little bit. If you put a lipstick on that doesn't look great on you, you just line your lips with this and it makes any freaking lipstick work. It's just so freaking beautiful. And like 
like it's so creamy and so comfortable to put on. My issue with it though is that I really like to get in there and like perfect my lips. If I go over the lip liner one too many times, it starts to build up and pill. Honestly, I could throw a lip gloss on and call it a day. But since we're talking about the best of the best, I have to show you this lipstick. So again, MAC in the shade Daddy's Girl. I am such a daddy's girl through and through. I don't know if, you know, you've been keeping up, but I mentioned that my dad is sick. And so it was kind of like, a, like, honestly, I've never felt more anxious and just like on the verge of vomiting so much in my life. Um, so this is fitting because it just, it is. So tribute to dad with my Daddy's Girl lipstick. I just, I can't, like MAC just gets me. I love a MAC lipstick. I don't know if it ages me that I just am such a MAC stan. Like I just feel like an OG YouTuber, like that's just been here for like how many years at this point? I don't even know. Um, maybe I'm just being dramatic, but I love it, I love it. I love it. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look. I did my hair. I blow dried my hair with a regular blow dryer to the point where it was like 85% dry. And then I used that little like Revlon, you know, the Dyson dupe that Revlon came out with. It's like a round brush that's heated. I use that and I just like, I love how my hair looks when I use it. It's so much quicker than the Dyson. However, the Dyson, it does, it's like a little bit more bountiful the Dyson, but like when I'm in a pinch and I just want to look put together, but I don't want to like spend too much time doing it. Like I really, really, really love the Revlon. You know, the, I'll, I'll put a picture here. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what were some of your favorite products that you tried this year. I'm very excited for next year. I feel like I've been uploading more and more content and I have a lot of things that I'm really looking to achieve next year. And I would love for you to join the ride. So subscribe, let's become friends. And yeah, I had a wonderful time as always. Happy holidays, happy new year, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.